Okay, now I want us to talk about something that Kenenda said. Uh, pff, didn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me. It will never make sense to me. He says, as an investigator, I'm going to play you a video uh, of that, so don't worry. He says, as an investigator, even if there's 2% of a DNA, uh, to me, it says these people are guilty, right? As from an investigation point of view. Two percent is enough, according to Kininda, right? Now you must look. First of all, you must argue the position of Brigadier Kininda, right? You call him Brigadier Kininda. The experience in investigation, right? And then what is this? What is, what else do we have? Um, the institution he works for. Um, what else? Like there are so many things. You see. Just by that alone, you ask yourself a question. How do you say such a statement? A person of your caliber saying a 2% DNA is enough to say that the accused, they know who killed Sandra Mayo or they were there. A 2% DNA. First of all, you forget that there was a, this, uh, look, these people contributed with the DNA test. Kininda, what is saying, I don't know, let me give you an interpretation of what Kininda is saying. What Kininda is saying is, how best can I say this? What Kininda is saying is that, you see when you do your DNA test for your child, right? So they usually write 99.9. .9. So <laughs> what Kininda then will say is that that for because that zero comma one what what it is enough to say that that person is the father of the child. I mean, it is not a father of the child, even if the DNA test says ninety nine percent positive, ninety nine point nine percent positive. Positive that zero point zero comma one, Kininda will say it is enough to say that. Uh, you are not the father. You, you are not the father of the child. Do, do, do you see what I'm trying to say? In this case, these people contributed with a DNA test. For for their DNA test to be tested, they has to contribute. In other words, there were swaps that were done, right? So when they calculate and they say they got ten percent instead of hundred percent, what we need to understand is that what do you mean? Do you exclude the distribution or the contribution from these people or this 10 percent is a number that you put against the number you know what i'm saying uh i'm going when you're looking for a specific outcome so you compare their their contribution against that particular outcome and then what do you do oh my god i don't know what happened with my battery they just died uh what do you do do you exclude that or not but before i can proceed good people let's just do the right thing and you know what i'm saying let's we are now journey to 60,000 subscribers so please do this if you are not yet subscribed what are you waiting for come on good people because to subscribe it is free to like the video it is free to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge to click the notification bell it is free of charge to share this video it is free of charge to watch this video until the end it is free of charge also good people i mean come on to watch the ads it's free of charge and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the super thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? We'll bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay so today okay, guys we're gonna be using a one video because of the situation so yeah we're gonna be using this one until we uh, until the end of the video what i want us to talk about is the fact that okay uh, you are saying that even if it's 0, 0,2, guys, you must just make it make sense to me. It doesn't make sense at all. 
for me, there's no logic in what Kininda is saying. And uh, it is even worse because Kininda is, say, look, is, in, look, is uh, occupying a very serious position. So if a person in such a, a crucial position uh, thinks like this, I worry. If a person in such a cu crucial position thinks like the way Kininda thinks, I am very, very, very worried. I don't want to lie to you. I am worried. But listen to Kininda himself here. Objective evidence, which is DNA, that was found at the crime scene, excluded everyone that was in the house. What it indicated is that that DNA was left by someone else other than the person who were in the house, the persons who were inside the house. That DNA was, was uh, 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 obviously at a later stage, my lord, when these accused were actually now targeted. Their DNA were taken for comparison I suppose when we get to that stage, I will deal with it, my lord, because as much as certain findings were made by the specialist, but they were pointized by the specialist to say there are common things that you can find on these people. And for me as an investigator, it was good enough that even if it's one or two percent of the DNA, for example, pointing accused number three, it is enough for me to convince me that he was there no, as an investigator. That is not his terrain. It is exclusively not his terrain. He's repeating the very same thing that I cautioned about. Mr. Kininda is not here as an expert, man. He's here as a police officer. He only needs to bring information to the court, the basis on which this court then will have to make a decision. He is not here to analyze that information as though he's the one that is going ultimately to give a judgment. He's pretty wrong, and the state is allowing to do that. I don't know if the state is doing that with a view in order to influence the mind of the court, but I'm, 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 I'm very grateful because the court said earlier on that the court is well trained and it is experienced enough to separate the wheat from the chaff. What Mr. Keninda is, is doing now is only trying to influence the mind of the court with a hell lot of a chaff. What is stating now is a chaff. It's nonsensical. It should not be done, my lord. And I'm going to request the state to tell his, its witness to refrain from what the state's witness is doing, my lord. Because it's not here as an expert. And we're not interested in his opinion. His opinion matters not. Okay. Now that you are, we are almost done, uh, come to think of it and just make it make sense to me because I... It doesn't make sense. Like, to me, me now, what I'm hearing, it really doesn't make any logical sense. Um, maybe I'm too logical. Maybe, because I, I ask myself a question, once you contribute with a DNA test, when they calculate the outcome, do they exclude your contribution? Or all those 0, 0,2, or you know what I'm saying, uh, like, wh how do they count? That's a, that's the first thing that I think we need to establish. Number two, uh, we also need to check this thing. Remember that we were looking for at least, I think, at least 50 to 60% of the, the DNA test. In fact, they said, what, 9 out of 10 or 8 out of 10. Then it, it is positive. It's a positive match. Please remind me, I might be wrong here. You don't get all of that, but you still want to tell me that it's a match, according to you. Then you must explain this thing to me. How many people have you arrested under this situation to you as an investigator? We must then ask ourselves a question. How many people have you arrested so far? Because clearly... Those people did not have, they, they did not commit the crimes that you, really you said they are committing. I think what Geninda is saying here is making us question a lot of things about him. Things that ordinarily we wouldn't have questioned it. Uh, things that ordinarily we wouldn't have said about him. But he's now making us to question every word that have ever came from Geninda. And I am right there right now. I'm asking myself a question. And a serious question, by the way. I'm asking myself serious questions. <sighs> uh, 
Let me leave it here. I don't wanna go deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper on this matter because hi hey man, let's just show Guinea and Egypt. To me it doesn't make any logical sense. A two percent DNA test is enough for him to conclude that this person have uh, got a prima facie case over a two percent. I know he was making an example, but that example in G itself, it's just problematic, especially from a person of his caliber. It's just problematic. How many people has he arrested under this disguise? I'm very, very, very concerned, guys. I'll leave it here. Um, all of my batteries have just died. Uh, let me leave it here. I'll see each other in the next video.